this time of year, it's difficult to get Andy off the combine. So we send cameraman Carlos to pull him out of the cab and push him into a hide. All work and no play and all that. The pressure is on as David needs 25 woodies for a cook-up he's hosting for some foreign students. They are in the UK learning about sustainable food sources and what could be better than some pigeon wraps. Andy harvested this field only two days ago and the next job is to rip up the stubble and sow it. With a load of peas in the ground behind, he can shoot them here and pick them without issue. It's a windy day and jet loads of holidaymakers have changed their flight path to match the pigeons. Both birds and planes like to take off into the wind. After smelling the clean air of freedom, crow's instincts kick in and he formulates a plan. Um, they tend to be coming over the top of this wood, coming out, out of the, you know, blowing out of the wind just to get out of the wind. I'll just be skimming up through here. We set up here and shoot 20 pigeons, I'll be happy this afternoon. We might shoot more, we, we might not get 20, but I've been sitting on a combine and on a tractor like I've been for the last three months. Um, this is the first time I've been out since we had one good go on the rape stop, I haven't been out since. So. He builds the hide, appears to thatch it, and stocks it with cartridges. Who's a pretty boy then? He has moved over to fibre wads to save the local plough from plastic. As Andy is shooting solo, he uses a string of slow-burning bangers to keep birds in the air and off the nearby crops. There's been a little rain this morning, so they shouldn't be a fire risk. Always a consideration, even in the UK. We don't want to be responsible for wildfires. There's enough of those in the world. No pattern really. I've bulk from that way. Well, the wind is there going to come over top and hopefully pull in. Come to this clump of silver birch we've got here. Um, but yeah, I, I like to use real, real pigeons, but because I haven't been out, I haven't got any. So the next best thing is the enforcer decoys. I use them all the time. They're bulky, they show up well. Uh, once we start getting, well hopefully, once we start getting a few on, put a rotary out and probably a flapper, just for a bit of movement to try and pull them in. But there's been a few flying through. Um, you know, get in the hide and see what goes. Another thing to consider is the direction you'll be shooting in. Know your local footpaths. So what are we waiting for? It's a path people use to track there for walking. Just wait for that woman to walk past. Until she's gone, make her jump otherwise. Them too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit more like it. I've got a couple there, so I'll get the rotary out now. It's an opportunity to try new guns. Andy swaps out his usual Blaser F16 for a Zauer SL5. Pretty little thing. 
bit light for me, but yeah, I'll give it a go. Got it? Yeah. Our time is up and we have to post Crow back into his air-conditioned luxury combine cabin before he's missed. However, he didn't miss much on the ground and David will have enough birds to satisfy the hungriest of students. Let's hope they live long enough to spread the word about sustainable food sources.